looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over if i pulled a golden ticket who would be the two or three guys that i would make right so you only pull one more than likely right hopefully unless you have multiple accounts and you're the luckiest man in the world but i'm gonna be going over if i pulled one who would I make? And I'm going to rank my two or three that I would make personally myself. Because, of course, guys, I've never pulled a golden ticket. I've never really... I've sort of helped on a golden ticket. Not exactly. I've, I've had word of. I wouldn't say I got the pick, right? Now, hopefully this year, I can maybe pull one or have a sub that does pull one that I can communicate with and just see what he's doing, you know, get some insight on the whole process. But me personally, if I pulled the golden ticket, there's about two or three guys in this game that I would really like to make. I'm going to go over the three guys or two guys, depending as I do it. I have three guys written down. I'm think I'm still, you know, still contemplating whether or not that third guy is worth the mention. But I'm gonna go through them, tell you guys the exact stats I would do, stay in depth on these cards, and show you guys why I would do it. Now it's pretty cool. I think it's an interesting, uh, interesting idea. But let's get into the video. Make sure on below hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, gives you a big thumbs up as always. And as always, guys, like and commenting are so important. So always make sure you smash the like button and comment down below. Now that's about it for that. Let's head into the video and let's get into everything. And of course, if you guys do need coins, head over to Mutt Coin Bank down below. Make sure you use code Poodle. Cheapest coins you're going to find around here. Well, at least one of the cheapest. Make sure you use code Poodle for an additional discount at checkout. Now, let's head on down, guys. So the first guy I would make, like my, my guy, my guy, if I got a ticket right now, who would make Saquon Barkley on this list. Saquon Barkley would be an insane golden ticket card. He's never had one as far as I remember. Now, of course, we have, we have to base it off this last card, right? Because, of course, this is the only other card he got right this is the only card he got all year because it basically was just came out with the game and this is the last card he actually received towards acl sadly since then been without a saquon barkley very upsetting okay so remember if you got a nine and over a golden ticket he would have plus seven on his overall plus a power up so he's plus eight in terms of stat upgrades so what does that mean a base saquon barkley has 99 speed i'm including chemistries and everything right because it's making it easier yeah and sprinter he has 99 speed right he has 99 excel he has 99 agility his carrying probably is only going to be 94, give or take, 93, 94. His catching's in the 80s. His change of direction's a 99. His break tackle's a 90. Sorry, his trucking's a 90. And his break tackle, I would say, we're probably like a 94, 95. So that's him as a golden ticket. Now, his back of the card stats, his strength it will be like an 88, probably, 86. His agility will be a 99, of course, as we had from the top of the card. His uh, jumping will probably be a 99 as well. He's up there. Now, this is where this is some behind the card stats. Now, stiff arm, I think, will be in the 90s. Spin will be in the 90s. And his juke will probably be like a 96. Spectacular catch will be in the 80s. Catching traffic, medium route running in the 70s. Short running will actually probably be an 80. Well, he's close to it. And then, of course, some other stuff here. Now, what would I touch on this Saquon Barkley card? What would I improve? So, for me, a Saquon Barkley card without being a golden ticket. Remember, that means you, without touching his archetypes, without giving him boost, He's going to be one of the most jack cards in the game. Now, where is he going to be a little behind him? His carrying. All right. His carrying. Per se, his brake tackle. His truck. And maybe... Now we can, Remember, we can't touch physical stats. No strength, no speed, no agility. So, his brake tackle, truck, maybe his catching. And maybe his spin and stiff arm, right? So where are we focusing on here now? Do we want to focus on route running? I wouldn't say focus on route running. At the end of the day, running backs run pretty smooth routes. If you really want to be technical with it, you could maybe give him some short route running, get it into the 80s. But I think he'll get there on his own. And then maybe medium route running, get it to the 80s. But I don't think that's that important. So what would I focus on? I think now break tackle. Here's a tough one. I think on his own, his break tackle probably a 95, 94. So... I would probably give him a break tackle upgrade. Make sure that's 99. I want that at 99. Uh, his break tackle. At this point, maybe you want to do the trucking as well. I don't truck, but getting it to 99 again will be huge. That means he'll be the he'll be a super power and juke and a, a lucid back. So I'll probably do truck and break tackle. And now for the behind the card stats. I'm stuck. So here's here's my here's my dilemma. So I was thinking I was gonna lean towards catching, right? Because catching, if you give him a catching boost, plus his overall everything, he probably gets like an 88 or 90 catching. Which would mean that he'd be a cons pretty consistent catcher. Like you do Texas routes, out routes, you know, any kind of the routes. He's probably he's probably holding on to it. You know, even after a hit, which is pretty important, especially nowadays with the whole safety barrage. Now, if I didn't do catching, I would probably put it on his um potentially, potentially his stiff armor spin move. Now, again, 
I'm probably gonna do trucking, break tackle, and I'll probably do his catching. I don't try, I don't really spin move or do uh, step farm, so I don't really care for that. Or his carrying. Now, it really depends. Now, maybe. I you know what? A scratch, uh, scratch, catching. I'll let that get to an 80. I'm probably going with carrying. Get his carry to a 99. Again, fumbling's weird this year, but better to be safe than sorry. That's my first one. My second guy. Now, remember, it can be anyone. But a guy that I really want to see. I think it'd be super fun. Now, this guy hasn't got many good cards. You know, many meta cards. And remember, you could change their archetype, which is important. Kyler Murray. I would love to make a Kyler Murray card. I really like him in real life. I think a Kyler Murray card would be super fun. Now, it's based off his 95. First things first, what would I do? I would make his, uh, you know, you could do his, his attributes, his, um, archetypes. I would definitely give him some field general and bucket slots. Make sure that he's going to be getting, uh, you know, hot run master. Make sure that he gets gunsling, give him a strong arm spot. And that, that's the key to quarterbacks this year, right? Golden Tick quarterbacks would be even better than last year. Last year, like... We like them. You know, they, they were good. They were game-breaking because of abilities, but this year, because of AP and stuff, like, getting him to be able to get... You know, that's the issue with mobile quarterbacks here. They don't get the, you know, gunslinger, field general, those type of strong arm and field general abilities the way that we want them at the AP we want them at. So it's super important to be able to do this with the mobile quarterback. Now, why Kyler Murray? Kyler Murray, wood sprinter, powered up, chemmed up. You know, right now, I can get to a 94 speed and plus sprinter 96. Give him plus four increase in overall, and he's getting 99. So we have a 99 speed, 99 throw power. Now, what's going to need to be an upgrade here, right? So at 99, he has, I would say his short accuracy is probably 97. His medium accuracy is probably 95. His deep accuracy is probably 95, 96. And then his throwing of pressure and all that stuff is probably closer to 99. Now, what matters to me here, on his, at least on the front of the car, that needs to be upgraded. I'm going to focus here on his medium more than likely because, again, for him to get the field general abilities, he has to have a good medium accuracy. And at this stage, it might not, be, it might not make it there. So I'm going to go medium first. Now, in terms of behind the card stats, agility's great, you know, uh, stamina, also good, carrying, change of direction, 94, uh, 94 ball carry vision, 91 juke, 84 spin. Now, again, I'm not going to be juking too much with him or spinning. Again, with quarterbacks, I like to just dodge and weave um, a lot more safer. Save yourself from getting, you know, rocked all the time. Break sack, 93, break tackle, 71. So, for me, his medium actually is a must. Cannot risk that. What if, what if they give us a 94? Like, what if he can't get to 95? What if he can't get certain abilities, right? 95 medium accuracy is a must. So, medium accuracy is a bit first upgrade. Now, we're looking behind the card stats. I think I give him carrying as well. Make sure that he could take some hits. Make sure that he could be, you know, super mobile and not risk ruining your game plan with fumbles. Give him a carry. Get him above 90 carrying as well. And then for the final stat, I'm not sure if I boost deep accuracy or if I boost... Um, what's it called? Change of direction. Now, I think I'm gonna leave change of direction fine because I think at 99 it'll be a 99. So I'm not gonna touch that one. So I think I'm gonna go with his um his throw deep. You know, make sure that he gets the match because everything else is great, right? He's super good with the ball. Everything's gonna be great, but we wanna make sure that his passing up to now. If we get his deep accuracy all the way up, well, remember if we get his if his medium gets to 94 on its own, he can get up chemmed up, right? So it really just depends again. So the card can go either way. Um, definitely get his deep up because I'm probably gonna do play fake. So definitely get his deep up as well and then after that we could play around and be either deep and some things behind the stat card or just go deep medium play it safe um but again if he can get to uh, some other stuff it you know it really changes it but to get the ability he's gonna need a base so that's why we're gonna go deep medium but yeah that's about it guys that's pretty much it for the video i'm gonna keep it at the two because these were my main guys these are my main like i would make kyler or saquon i think it'll be a super cool card um both are cool guys you know both cool guys in madden i love playing with them Especially Saquon. Saquon would be my number one, guys. To be fair, like Saquon's my number one. Because that running back is just insane. He has the ideal height, uh, you know, speed, body shape. He can weave in and out. He's he can play like a little fast rap, but he can also play like a monster, you know, truck and stuff. So he's right in between everything you need. Break tackles on his own abilities. And as far as terms of uh, you know, archetypes, you always you can play around with those, but quarterback archetypes are way more essential in terms of like what abilities you want them to get and everything. But yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. If you guys did, head on down below. Let me know what you guys think. Who would be your one golden ticket choice if you could pick one? And of course, if you guys need coins, head over to my coin bank down below and use code Poodle for an additional discount at checkout. That's about it. Good rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.